In this problem, we're going to find the magnetic field due to a steady current uniformly distributed throughout a long cylindrical conductor. The radius of the conductor will be R. Now there will be a magnetic field both inside and outside this conductor due to this current, and the magnetic field lines are circles concentric with the center of the wire. Because of the high symmetry of this situation, we'll be able to apply Ampere's law to find the magnetic field. And the working form of Ampere's law that we have is mu naught I in, where I in is the current that threads through our Amperean circle, over 2 pi r, where little r is the radius of the Amperean circle. So for case A, let's consider regions outside this conductor. So this will be for r greater than r. We choose our Amperian circle to go through the point where we want the magnetic field. So there's our Amperian circle, and it will have radius r, and we will be finding b here. Well, in this case, the entire current flows through that Amperian circle, so i in is just exactly equal to i. And we can simply sub that into Ampere's law to get the magnetic field outside this conductor. And we see that it's exactly the same expression as for a thin wire carrying a current I. So once you're outside a large cylindrical conductor, it acts like a thin wire. OK, let's now go inside the wire, R less than R. In this case, we won't have 100% of the current going through our Amperian circle because now our Amperian circle will be inside this conductor, radius r, and it's only the amount of current that's in this red circle that goes into Ampere's law. Now, in order to find that amount of current, we need to define a current density. J will be our current density, defined to be current over area. And in this case, the current is steady and uniform, so J for this conductor would be i over pi r squared, where pi r squared is the cross-sectional area. Now, that ratio is constant, which means that that would also equal the amount of current in the red circle over the area of the red circle. And so this is how we can get the proportion of current that's in that red circle is equal to the total current times the ratio of the radii squared. Okay, now this goes into Ampere's law, so that we have B is equal to mu naught I in over 2 pi R, and I in now is the total current R squared over R squared over 2 pi R, one of those R's cancel, and we get The magnetic field now inside the wire is proportional to R. Now, if I were to graph this magnetic field as a function of R, putting the boundary R in the graph, we see that inside the wire, the magnetic field is a linear function, so it increases as you move towards the edge of the wire, but once you're outside, acts like an infinitely long wire and decreases as 1 over R. The magnetic field lines inside that wire would be equally spaced. And if the current were going into the page in this case, you put your thumb in the direction of the current, your fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field field, so the magnetic field lines would be clockwise circles, equally spaced. 